This is a middle-aged male with new onset seizures. The images demonstrate a circumscribed T2 flare hyperintense mass centered within the right occipital parietal region. There is significant perilesional edema and effacement of the surrounding cerebral cortical sauci with partial effacement and anterior displacement of the right atrium. On the diffusion-weighted images, there is a central region of diffusion restriction within the lesion with spillage of contents into the adjacent subdural space over the posterior right cerebral hemisphere. There is scattered susceptibility artifact along the margins of the lesion extending into the subdural space with peripheral hyperemia on the perfusion-weighted images. The lesion demonstrates an irregular rind of enhancement on the post-contrast images. Findings are most compatible with a brain parenchymal abscess with an associated subdural abscess. There are four distinct stages in the development or evolution of brain abscess consisting of early cerebritis, late cerebritis, early capsule, and late capsule formation. After biopsy, this patient grew a staph aureus bug. At this stage of disease, treatment with craniotomy and surgical drainage was performed. A major complication of subdural extension includes dural venous sinus thrombosis.